In this problem, we're given a function. We're asked to find the discontinuity and identify if it's removable or non-removable. So first of all, uh, it's pretty clear where the function is not continuous. It's not continuous at x equals 5. And the reason is it's not defined there, right? If you plug in 5, you get 0 over 0, which makes no sense. So it's discontinuous here. So this is the discontinuity. So now we have to determine whether the discontinuity is removable or non-removable. Recall that intuitively a discontinuity is removable if you can remove it, right, and make the function continuous. It's non-removable if you can't remove it and the function just stays discontinuous there. So whenever you had a rational function, uh, holes were removable. Uh, whenever you have a vertical asymptote, that's non-removable. In this case, we have possibly neither of those. It's not a rational function, and uh, this is actually not going to be a vertical asymptote. So we have to use something a little more powerful to do this problem. So recall, if you take the limit as x approaches c, and c is a discontinuity of the function here, if this limit exists, then this is equivalent to saying, that's what this double arrow means, that c is removable. So c is a removable discontinuity. Okay. So this goes the other way as well. So if this limit does not exist, this is equivalent to saying that C is not removable. So C is not removable. Okay, so in this problem, we're going to take the limit of this function as x approaches 5, and then we'll figure out what the answer is. Uh, if the limit exists, we know it's removable. If the limit does not exist, then we know it's not removable, okay? So let's go ahead and work that out. So the goal, the goal here is to figure out the limit as x approaches 5. And the reason we're approaching 5 is because 5 is our discontinuity. This is a harder problem, by the way. This is probably like one of the hardest ones uh, that you typically do in a Calculus 1 uh, course. That's the goal. So whenever you have a, a, a limit with absolute value, what you do is you take one-sided limits. Recall if the one-sided limits exist and are equal, then the limit exists. Um, so let's take the limit as x approaches 5 from the left, okay, so uh, of this here, right, this limit here. So think about this. Let's see. So we know that x is approaching 5 from the left. We have to get rid of the absolute value. That means x is over here, right, and is approaching 5 from the left. Well, that would mean that x is less than 5. And check this out. You can manipulate this. This means that x minus 5 is less than 0. And so recall, whenever you have something that's less than 0, if you take the absolute value of that, you drop the absolute value and you put a negative sign there, right? Super, super key. This, this is the definition of absolute value. Let me derail for a moment and just recall. If you have the absolute value of x, oh, that's a weird color. <laughs> it's equal to x if x is greater than or equal to 0. And it's equal to minus x if x is less than 0. So in this case here, this is less than 0. So you have to put it here and then you put the negative sign in front of it as we've done. So we go ahead and replace the top piece with negative x minus 5. I don't know how I picked this color. <laughs> Over x minus 5. Oh, this is so cool because look, they cancel. It's so rigged. This is the limit as x approaches 5 from the left of negative 1. And that's just going to be negative 1. So from the left, we get negative 1. Let me go back to a human color. Or, well, I guess that is human, it's just a strange color. Uh, now let's go from the right. So let's think about this. So let's draw a picture. So here's 5, here's x. So we're approaching from the right. Okay, so that means x is bigger than 5, right? That's what bigger than means, greater than. So then you can manipulate this by subtracting 5, so you get x minus 5 greater than 0. So what does that mean? That means the absolute value of x minus 5, well, using this formula, if x minus 5 is greater than 0, you just get x minus 5. So this is x minus 5. So this is going to be x minus 5 over x minus 5. These cancels, we get the limit as x approaches 5 from the right of 1. So we get 1. So taking the limit from the left, we get negative 1. Taking the limit from the right, we get 1. Therefore, we can say this limit does not exist, and we know that whenever that happens, the discontinuity is non-removable. So the answer to this problem 
is non-removable. I kind of rushed there at the end a little bit, uh, but very, very nice problem. Uh, much, much harder than the typical uh, ones that you do. So I hope this video uh, has been helpful in some way.